Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a three year update on my keloids. Now, I actually did upload a video before, I think it was about a few months ago. I was hearing from a lot of people that there was a bit of a malfunction with the video that it was like a re-upload of my last video or there was just something wrong where it wasn't a new video. It was just more like an old video that was just re-uploaded. So I'm gonna be doing another one today and I'm gonna be showing you guys my keloids and showing you guys a side-by-side -side view of my keloids, how they were three years ago and versus how they are now. So I'm not gonna waste your time anymore. I'm just gonna get right into it and show you guys. So this is what my keloids are currently looking like now. As you guys can see, it's not as bad as it was before. I'm gonna be putting a side-by-side -side view right now. So you guys can see my keloids from before versus now. Okay, now we're gonna go for a close-up. This right here is actually a new scar I got from an incision I got. I had a humongous cyst right here and they cut it open and they drained it. So after this, I basically got like a little scar here. But other than that, it's basically the same. I don't know if you guys can tell, but a lot of the scarring is actually flat. Um, the coloring is still there, but as you guys can see, a lot of it actually is flat, which is definitely a big improvement from the last video I gave you guys. I'm basically gonna be doing the entire video with my shirt off so you guys can continue just to see the keloids and actually see how much they've improved. I don't really care as much anymore because they have greatly improved from the last time I put up a video and they're no longer as big of a problem in my life. I'm still getting them treated, which is what I'm gonna be talking about right now. So to give you guys a little bit of a timeline, the first year of my keloid injections, I actually went on it after Accutane. So I had to wait about a month after I got off Accutane, and then I had to start the keloid injections. And then after that, I was going every month. So I was getting keloid injections every single month for the first year. And as you guys can tell, there was a lot of improvement that was actually done. The second year um, of the injections, it, was, it gradually improved to, I believe it was once every two months. So instead of going every month, I went every two months, which wasn't as bad as before. Now I'm currently about to end my third year of actually going into getting keloid injections. Um, it's actually not as bad now, it's way better. I actually go in right now only three or four times a month depending on when I want to. So I think it's every three months I actually go because we've made so much progress that I don't actually need to go and get more injections. Now what specifically am I getting? Now I am getting something called um, steroid injections, another word for it is called cortisone. They basically inject um, cortisone into each and every one of my keloids. Now the thing about cortisone slash steroid injections, whatever you want to call it, it can flatten out your keloid, but it's not going to get rid of the scarring. So basically what happens is that your skin texture is still going to be a bit different from the other texture around it that's normal. So it might be a little bit squiggly, it might be a bit more flattened, it might even be more indented than your normal skin, which is what kind of what happened with me. Some of the keloids actually went away and they were flat and they actually got rid of the, and the color actually went away as well. You can actually tell they were there, but the color actually matches my actual skin tone versus some, they are flat, but I'm still dealing with um, the coloring. So if you guys can actually tell, if you guys can actually see a lot of my keloids have actually been, some of my keloids have been more stubborn than others versus some actually went away, I think the first few months that I was getting treatment it was so fast how some of them were reacting, but there were some that weren't reacting as quickly. Um, these two right here are actually ones that I have been getting injected for, you know, every single time I've been going to get my keloid injection. They flatten, then they grow, and they flatten, then they grow. Stubborn and just not wanting to stay flat. They have actually stayed flat for the past few months, which is the first time ever. Now, one of the things that I do want to tell you guys, if you're getting um, steroid injections right now, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take a long time. Not for some. Some, like I said, might you know adapt to the steroid and actually get rid of the color, get rid of the texture, and actually flatten out within the first few months. But others, like I said, maybe bigger ones, even now they don't even have to be big. They can even be small, but they will be a lot more stubborn, and the color will still be there. They might flatten, and then they might grow again, and then they might flatten, and they might grow again. But it's going to take a lot of more injections to actually see some improvement. Like right now. A lot of the ones that I have right now are actually flat. Like there's not really one that's super thick and super rough as it was before. So right now, as of today, I don't have any plans to do laser, which is something that you can do. Um, I believe that laser is called V-beam laser or 
not CO2 laser, V beam laser, which tends to get rid of the coloring of the keloid. So if you're already flattened out and you don't have any problems with big keloids, you can go and get the V-beam laser from you know a local dermatologist or a lo local surgeon, but a lot of times your insurance isn't gonna cover that. It didn't cover that for me because I already checked because it's considered uh, cosmetic. So when I have the money, maybe later down the line, I'm actually gonna go get laser on them because honestly, a lot of them are flat right now and they don't really look as bad in my opinion. And I think if you're looking for the best type of treatment, you know, me personally, it's just keloid injections. And once you're done with that, once you're completely flattened out, you can actually go and get the laser, which is called V-Beam, I believe. If you live in California, there's a place in, you know, close to Mission Viejo, San Clemente, in that area that I don't know the name. I'll probably link it below. I found it on Yelp. They have some really good and impressive before and after pictures of keloids. So if you're really, so if you're in the California area, which might be a, you know, a small amount of you, you can actually check that out and give them a look if you have the time. My keloids have gotten a lot better. It's no longer that much of a big deal in my life. I still deal with them. You know, I still like to cover them up when I go out. You know, there are some times where I actually use makeup and it actually makes a really big difference because a lot of them are flat now, so they don't look as puffy or as big when you know, because before I would use makeup, but you could still tell there was some stuff there. But now a lot of them are flat, and so the texture might be different, but they'll be matching my skin color and they'll look a lot better. So, like, let's say you don't want people staring at them if you're at a pool or you know, you're taking off your shirt, it won't be as big of a deal, you know, once they're more flattened versus when they're still kind of rough and you know, growing and still being a lot more stubborn in the early on stages of your treatment. So yeah guys, that was basically it. Um, it's not that much of a big video. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a better update video than I did before because you know something went wrong with that one and I hope you guys can actually get a good view. And I hope that if you're dealing with keloids, you're actually getting them fixed the right way because there are some times where people go in and get surgery to remove them, but then surgery, what happens with surgery is that you get them cut off, you get them removed, and they end up growing back even larger and worse than before. So I don't recommend surgery. Um, I know there's other forms of treatment like cryotherapy and a mixture of surgery and with cortisone injections. I haven't, I haven't done that yet because I haven't really found anyone who has done that or is in my area that can do that. And it won't be covered by my insurance, so I can't really do that. And honestly, with the injections I've been getting, I feel pretty happy with the improvement so far. And it's a lot of, you know, it's not something that has to ruin your life. You know, keloids are something that are a hassle to deal with, but honestly, just hang in there. Keep getting the injections, keep getting the treatments, whatever you're doing. There's gonna come a point in your life where you're gonna look at your chest or you're gonna look at wherever they are and it's gonna be a lot better than it was when you started. Kind of like me, it's a lot better and much better than before. So yeah guys, thank you again for coming to watch the video. I hope you guys found some good insight from it, saw how it was before versus now, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.